What's up, Modern Steaders? You know what day today is? Today is your Friday, and Friday is Modern Steading Update Day. So let's go check on everything. Let's start out with the pigs. And we got our nice little basket here from Jason at Coops and More. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll link it here. And if you're a modern steader, you get 10% off all products at Coops and More. So go down in the description below and look for the links for all that fun stuff. Let's go let the pigs out. Look, we got a loose duckling. Quick, get in. Crazy things. They're getting more and more deering. You guys want to come out for the afternoon? Huh? You want to come out? All right, we'll let you out. Let's go. You got to get off the gate. Want to go out? You gotta lock the gate open. What? What are you doing? You know you wanna come out. The pigs were out on pasture yesterday for the first time for a few hours. And look at that area, they already rooted up. They're doing well. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link that one right here. You like the paint I got on my finger from work today? Yeah. Let's go check on the chickens and the ducklings. All right, let's look for the ducks. There they are, they're hiding. Where are all the baby ducks? We want to see the baby ducks! Man! You're hiding on us. Maybe they'll come out in a minute. Let's collect the eggs. Sun sure is bright today. <laughs> Let's see if we can find these ducklings. All I know is they're cute. <gasps> there they are. <gasps> What are you doing, little buddy? <laughs> There's some ducklings. <laughs> Mamas are coming out to check on all the ducklings, see? There we go. There we go. There's five, there's one more somewhere. Oh man guys, I found the sixth duck. It's not good. I don't know what happened. But here's number six. Man. We've lost three ducklings so far. That's not good. That's a disappointment. There's always something happening at the homestead, but you gotta keep an upbeat attitude. Right? Right. There are the pigs going to town. Look at that. They've only been over here for two seconds. Look at them rooting and digging. Let's wait, pull down. Let's put our eggs down. Let's go check on the garden. <sighs> We're a little disappointed about that duckling, but let's check on the garden and hopefully that can cheer us up. It looks like we got some good stuff going on over here. Look at this cabbage. 
That thing's doing good. I'm happy with that. These other ones are doing great. This, this broccoli is starting to flower out, which doesn't surprise me because it's been so warm lately. But all these other plants are doing really well. Look at these pepper plants. They're huge. Starting to flower out. No fruit yet on them, but we're getting there. And then these tomato plants have just been going wild. Look at these things. We don't have any starting to ripen up yet, but they're just growing like crazy. Look at that. We're having really good luck with these here this summer. Stick this one back in there, trellis it up a bit. Look at these tomatoes. It's just going nuts. We're going to be having red ones before you know it. Look at those things. Just get so excited about it. We're here in northern New Hampshire and we've never had green tomatoes here this early. And they weren't even started in a greenhouse, just in the basement. Wow. Those are nice. Look at our tomatoes are doing so much better than our radishes this year. That's just nuts. I mean, they're starting to grow. We've got little tiny radishes coming up. But our tomatoes are beating those. Over here we got our beets. Gina mulched the area pretty good the other day. Thin out some weeds with the beets there. Eh, we got to replant some beets so once these ones start coming up we'll have another batch. We did have some more beet seeds in the house. We just got to plant them now. But they're coming in pretty good. Those aren't too bad. And over here we got the green beans. They're getting ready to flower out. We got buds on all of them. They're nice and green. The purple green beans. We got some flowers. I don't know if we got any little tiny beans started on them yet. Not yet. But we got some nice pretty purple flowers. We're looking forward to being able to pick some vegetables out of our garden pretty soon. This is going to be so much fun eating fresh veggies right out of here. Oh, I'm just drooling thinking about it now. And fresh BLTs. Oh, and the pasture raised pork from last year to go on those. And one of the subscribers left the comments saying, why don't you get some potato flour and make some potato bread so Gina can have that where she's gluten free. Never even thought of that. We should make some potato bread. Speaking of that, our sourdough starter started molding. I think it's because it's been so humid here. So I threw that out. We'll wait till fall comes and we'll start doing it again once the weather straightens out. We've just been having crazy, humid, hot, cool, hot, humid weather. It's just no rhyme or reason to it. Let's check out the corn. This stuff is just, look at that. These we started this early spring in soil blocks in the basement. The ones we started by seed here outside, look, we had one germinate, two germinate. And that's it. For us, the soil blocks is the way to go. Look at these. And then we got some pole beans we started planting next to them. They didn't all come up, so one of our subscribers, Earl, sent us up some more Siberian pole bean beans the other day. We just got those in the P.O. box the other day. Thanks, Earl. Tomorrow, we're gonna plant those out here, right next to the corn. Make sure you're looking for that video, Earl, and thanks again. Over here, we have our strawberry plants that we got this year and just planted. They're doing really good. I got our, we have them all mulched in with some of our spent hay from our winter chicken coop. And then we put our coffee grinds around them. And look how good they're doing. We don't do a lot of videos on our garden, just basically the Friday updates because there's not a lot of work that we have to do to, with these garden beds the way we have them set up. We come out here maybe once a week. I just came out here, I was weeding it while I'm doing the video with you. The tomatoes, maybe we'll come out here every other night and pinch off some of the growths in the crotches that we don't want. And then Gina last weekend spent, I don't know, half hour, maybe an hour max mulching the beds that needed it. These things are almost maintenance free and they work awesome. The outdoor kitchen's coming along really nicely. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, I'll post the playlist to the off-grid outdoor kitchen build right here. 
We're gonna be taking a break from that for a few more days. We got it all leveled off. We gotta get the compactor and compact it. But this weekend, which will be your Monday, we're gonna be harvesting the Bard Rock meat bird. So we're not gonna be able to work on this this weekend. We're looking to have the outdoor kitchen done no later than the end of October. I'm hoping in August, but it's got to be done by the end of October. We're having Han Hewn Farm here doing a three-day butchering and charcuterie class right here at Lumna Acres. So that's going to be fun. We're going to have the outdoor kitchen set up so we can do all of it right out there. It's going to be a blast. So if you want to come to the Han Hewn Farm class, go on over to hanhewnfarm.com and look on their website. That's where you're gonna sign up. There's only gonna be 11 people that can take the class, so go on over to their website and sign up for that. I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. So over here we have our squash plants, all kinds of different squash plants, growing in our spent hay bales from last year's winter chicken coop. And these guys are doing awesome. You know what we're gonna do? These we're gonna grow up on the cattle panels. I'm gonna trellis these guys right here. I'll get this one over there. Just gotta train them a little bit and then they'll start taking off on their own. See you got these little tentacles? Like octopus tentacles that grab, grab onto stuff and latch on and they're not gonna let go. So once you get those trained, see this one's got it right here. Once you get those trained, they're really gonna take off. We got some more over here, they're not long enough to go over yet, but they will, they'll get there. We got these guys flowering out. These are all male flowers so far. Is that a little baby? No. Look at the potatoes, they're doing awesome. That potato tower's jamming. I can't wait till we're eating some potatoes out of there. This is making me hungry doing this tour, modern steaders. I don't know if you can tell, but I get a little excited. I don't know why. And look at these. They're nice and green. We got any plants growing on them yet? We got any fruit? Not yet, but look at how lush and green these are. We haven't done anything to these. We haven't watered them, nothing. We just planted the transplants in these spent hay bales that were covered in chicken manure. Look at that. Oh, I'm telling you what. Gets me so excited. We got our chickens growing free food for us. Whew. And potatoes. Those potatoes are growing in spent hay from the winter chicken coop too. So we bought the hay and we line our greenhouse with it in the winter time for our chickens. They climb up on them, they poop on them, they use them. The biggest reason we have them in the greenhouse is for insulation. It keeps the wind off them, it gives them a warm place to go. We spend, I don't know, 80 bucks, a couple hundred bucks on hay bales. And then in the springtime, you can either compost them and make awesome compost for your gardens or grow right in them and then next year we'll have awesome compost for our garden. And all that stuff's free. We already paid for it once. And look at all the abundance we're getting out of that. Where are you going Pluto? We're not going down there yet. We gotta show them the garden that last year's pigs are growing for us. Come here. Hey, we're up this way. We're up this way, crazy dog. Crazy dog. Are you crazy? Is it hot out? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? So over here we have cucumbers. But here are the cucumbers. They're looking nice. Oh, you know what I was just thinking of when I was making the video of planting these cucumbers? Do you guys remember when I fell? I do. Gave me a good laugh. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link that video right here. Because I got a good laugh when I was editing it. And I think you guys got a good laugh when you watched it too. And if you haven't watched it, go check it out. And if you already have, Go have another laugh on my account. I don't mind. Ooh, look at them. You know what that means? That means cucumbers are in our future. Cucumbers. Oh man. Guess what? We haven't watered or done anything with this garden either. This is just pure wood chips, pure pig poop composted from last year and all other goodness from our other pasture-raised pigs. Digger and Waddles, no. Yeah, Digger and Waddles we had last year. They were Red Waddle X, Berkshire Cross, I believe. They did really well for us. And look at what they're still producing for us. I mean, how can you not thank your pigs for that? I am just can imagine what this year's pigs are gonna do for us next year. It's just mind blowing. Look at this, oh yeah. Whew. Let's get over here, this is the first 
vegetable I saw growing was on this plant. Oh, it's not there yet, but it's still growing right here. Hopefully soon we'll have some good zucchini off of these. The crazy thing is once it comes, we're gonna have so much. Right now we want it, and we don't have any. And before you know it, it's gonna be coming out of our ears. Same thing with the summer squash. The summer squash is over here, and they're doing good, but no fruits yet. Oh, wait a minute, I lied. The plants are getting so big. Look at that little fruit, Woohoo! I know it's tiny, but still I get excited. Spaghetti squash, we've never grown these before. They would do, by the looks of it, these would do really well on the cattle panels. Yeah, they got these little crazy tentacles. Look how they latch onto everything. Yep. Next year, then over here is some more pumpkins. And then over on this one is our buttercup winter squash. This is our favorite squash. So we hope this produces good for us this year. So while we're in the basement, before we get all of our chicken feed, let's bring you over and show you what's going on with our kombucha. On our kombucha, we are doing the continuous brew. So last night, I'll link that video here, we went ahead and we're on the second fermentation stage making blueberry kombucha. Doesn't that just sound delicious? So if you wanna go check that out, here's the video for it. Look at them things, little tentacles. Let's go over and check out the incubators. Here is the old incubator on day, you got it, day 22. And them eggs are not peeping, they're not doing nothing. Those eggs aren't gonna hatch on us. We have candled them, there was stuff growing in there, but there's just something going on. I don't know what it is. But, Coops and more saw the problems we were having with our incubators, so they sent us some other ones. So we're trying out their incubators right now and we're on day one it should be switching to day two any minute now and these are more Icelandic eggs in there so we're excited to see how these guys hatch out we just got a comment from Russell have you moved New York City we have not moved the building New York City since we put it where it is the ducks have been under there laying eggs and sitting on their clutch. And now the eggs have hatched, we gotta wait a little bit till we can pick up the ducklings, put everybody in New York City, hook onto it with the Kubota, and move it. But we have moved the fence. They are on a new area. Just New York City's in the same spot. But we're gonna be moving them soon. You're gonna have to make sure you stay tuned for that video sometime soon. So we were supposed to have these Bodrock pullets sold by now. This is the second time this has happened to us. We have them listed on Craigslist for sale. People get in touch and they ask us how much. They get all excited to buy them. They say, give us directions. They give them directions and they go, oh, I thought you were in Littleton, Maine. That's way too far away, New Hampshire. I can't get there. And then again, today, a lady contacted me via email. I contacted her. Yep, we got them sold, I gave her my number, we started talking. She goes, oh, you're in Mass, right? And I said, no, we're in New Hampshire, probably about three hours away. I don't know, she says she still wants them, but it's gonna have to be a weekend trip for her. We'll see. But they're organic, pasture-raised pullets. Where can you buy organic, pasture-raised pullets? I don't, I don't know. So one day, these pullets will be leaving here. I just don't know when. We keep getting our hopes up. But they are beautiful birds. And then over here are our Icelandic chickens. We're collecting the eggs to hatch them in our incubators that we haven't had much luck with. But we're gonna get there. You always have ups and downs in homesteading and farming. So you gotta, you gotta be ready for it and just kinda embrace it. You've seen it with the ducklings. We've lost three now. I know, it's a disappointment, but it goes on and there's always something new and encouraging to look forward to. So just tell yourself that and make sure you have a few things going on. So if one thing goes bad for you, you have something else to look forward to because it will get better. These birds are just beautiful. And look, they're almost making hay for us. Look at this. That's almost dried out hay. They thatched this for us. You want some grain?
Where are you going? This might look hard to move, but it's not too bad. Our biggest issue is our pasture area here is very unlevel, so we get stuck on a bump or a rock. We're smoothing it out with the chicken tractors over time, so it'll get better. You know what we should do? It's been hot the last few days. Let's just check and make sure our water nipples are working properly. It's a good, it's a good routine. It's a good routine maintenance to get used to doing. Slow down. Hey, leave them alone. Lie down. Pluto, lie down. She's getting the birds all excited. Yep, the nipples are working. They're getting plenty of water. You just want to make sure there's no dirt in them or there's not an air bubble. Perfect. So these chickens are 13 weeks old this week. We're going to be harvesting them on Saturday, your Monday. And look how big they are. We could have harvested them last weekend, but we were busy with our outdoor kitchen build. So this weekend we got to put it on hold and process these guys. And we will keep out the pullets. We have six pullets and we have 12 males. And they're just a beautiful bird. They've been eating lots of grass for us, haven't you? So these Bod Rock chickens we have here in our chicken tractor, we hatched out here at Lumna Acres from eggs we collected from New York City. So I was just thinking, you know what's pretty cool is we have 12 meat birds in here and we have six pullets and then we have four over there that were hatched out for us too. When we sell all of those, they're gonna pay for our grain for our meat birds. That's pretty self-sustaining. We can raise our own fertile eggs here from New York City, put them in our own incubators or under our own broody chickens. We can raise the roosters for meat birds, sell the pullets and the pullets pay for the feed for the pullets and for our meat so we can get free meat from our chickens too. Ah! And then we get free chicken poo to fertilize our gardens and our pasture. And then that pasture can either grow more grass for our chickens or for our goats or our cows. That's like growing money. I like growing money. That's awesome. We gotta get to growing more money. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. Just share it with all your friends. Say, hey, you wanna learn how to make your own money? Watch this video. Don't forget we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'd love to see you over there. We post, we're post. we posting to those once a day too. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.